Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and other do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have a little project from IC Station. It's a simple do-it-yourself flashlight kit. You can get this kit for around two dollars from their site, or you can buy this off Amazon. I think for a two-pack for nine ninety-nine and get it next day. Um, that's a nice thing about Prime shipping. <laughs> Next day, uh, from the China, you're going to wait about two to three weeks. But here it is, direct from China. We got the little printout there. Comes with a little Ziploc bag. Uh, this one piqued my interest because it uses an inductor. And I have a feeling it's one of those uh, lights that you can run uh, on depleted cells. So let's go take a look. Here's a little enclosure they give you. I think that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and open that up. I think everything's inside here. There we go. It's going to be real simple. Let's go ahead and pull the parts out. There's a little PCB board. Nice. Put that up there. So let's look at that board first. So on the board, you can see it has the component spots. Looks like we have terminal areas. Here's for your negative and positive for the battery. Looks like we have a tail switch. And it's like we have our LED that goes out this way. We have the inductor right there, 47 microhenries. We have a transistor and a resistor there. Now if you look, it says practice. It looks like you could have a little fun building a basic circuit of your own on this little PCB board. Don't know if I'd do that because you may not have room to put it into the case when you're done, but you can still practice, which I think is neat there. Cool. So let's go look at the parts bag. See what they give us. Alright, so we can get out here without losing anything. Okay, so we have some resistors. Looks like they give us extra ones. Not sure why we have extra. Oh, for practice. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. I'm looking over to my right here at the screen. I have a, a schematic up here. But there you go. You got four resistors. Nice. Not bad. I like when they give you extra parts like that. Uh, here's our inductor, it looks like. A little coil all wrapped up. Let's see here. We got a transistor. I want to say this can be pretty hard to zoom in on. Let's see if we can. the camera can do it. There you go. So I think it says YK. 8115. I'm not sure what that is. If I do, I'll do a little pop up here and give you some information on that transistor. I think it's a basic one though. All right, next we have the switch, a little simple on, off. Okay, nice setup. Those are actually kind of, I want to find a source for these. They actually are pretty handy to have. A lot of these are momentary, but that's not. So I actually could use this in some small projects. Let's see, here's the cap for that switch. Pretty basic. So what else here? We got the LED. It's kind of one of these big, uh, I don't know, was that like a seven millimeter? Big boy. We'll have to see how this lights the room up. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's going to do with a little AAA battery, but who knows? You never know. And then here's our terminals to solder on that PCB board. So, whoops, don't lose the parts. There we go. Put everything back in the frame, give you an idea what we have here as far as the kit goes, but for two bucks, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of fun. Um, this looks like a great uh, starter kit when you're done doing your learning to solder project. I'll have that little link up there. You'll have your iron. You're all ready to go for this kit. Now you may want to buy some extra solder with that one, but your iron will definitely, a 25 watt iron that's in that kit will work perfectly for this. And then you can build yourself your own flashlight. I think that's great. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to slide this over. And I'll show you the information from the site. Here we are. Okay, it's pretty bright here, but uh, let's see if the camera can focus. So it's showing, um, okay, so two resistors um, for uh, 47 ohm and two practice resistors, 22 ohm, um, an 8 millimeter LED, okay. Um, you have a 47, there's the inductor. You have your chip, which I'll look up for you. Uh, I'm showing all the components. Okay, the springs are 7 millimeter, that's what I caught. Get some dimensions of the PCB and the enclosure. There's the basic circuit. If you want to check that out. Actually, I can probably put that more to the center of the screen here. And they got some pictures of the build process. And, you know, I have my own. But that looks like it's a pretty simple layout right here. Just going to zoom in on that. So, yeah, I don't see any, if we're seeing any trouble. Uh, probably the only tricky part will be the getting the terminals to line up properly for the battery. That's the only thing I can think of. That will be an issue with this kit. Somebody else building it right here. 
that'll be me yeah <laughs> there you go looks like it's working so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and set this aside get the parts one more time and then we'll come back probably have a, one or two pictures of the build process then we'll do a little demo and see how bright this little flashlight is all right guys there we go i'll be right back here are pictures of the build process. In this first picture, I attached the battery connectors. A set of helping hands will make this easy to do. I added the resistor and the YX8115 transistor, which is actually an LED boost driver used for single battery operation with voltages between 0.9 to 1.5 volts. The second picture I added the LED, inductor, and power switch all with 90 degree bends on the component legs. Take your time to get them nice and straight. This last picture, I used a piece of bus wire to support the switch. You could use the leftover piece from a trimmed resistor. Uh, that'll also work just as well. I also practiced with three extra resistors they provided with the kit in the practice area. Had a good time with that. So here's the kit in front of us. Ta-da! It's finished. <laughs> this is a great second kit. You guys just finished your Alenco Learn to Solder kit, why not pick one of these up? Two bucks from China, or you can pick up a two pack for 10 bucks off Amazon to experiment and give them as gifts. I found it pretty fun to build. So let's go ahead and look it over. Uh, there's the LED on the front. We have the inductor here. Here's our transistor IC. That's that LED driver that, uh, let's see if we can see those numbers on there. I'll get it in focus. The YX8115. Uh, we have, this is the resistor and circuit. These are, these three are just for practice. Here's the switch. If you notice it has six terminals, uh, three you don't use and three you do use. And laying it on its side, you have to use a piece of bus wire or component leg to anchor it in place. Okay, the hardest part of the kit was getting these uh, battery connectors soldered on straight. You can see how this sits flush. You have to lay the wire down and then solder on those four points. Same over here. The nice thing is, is they branch onto each one just in case you miss one or two of those. You'll still have a good connection. Awesome. So let's go ahead and put this in the project case and fire it up. So they give you the little case to hold it, which is really nice. Drop that in just like that. I have a rechargeable and loop battery I'm gonna put in there, a little AAA. So this is powered off of. So we'll go ahead and just Put this in here. There we are. So it's ready to turn on. Just a little switch on the back. Looks pretty nice. Taking that set up. Uh, let's see. I got the cap for it. We'll go ahead and just snap that cover on. I like the fact that the LED does not protrude from the case. It actually protects it. Now you get yourself a nice little pocket light. I'll turn the lights off here in a second and do a little, little demo of this light here. So let's go do a size comparison. Give you some dimensions. Dimensions first. Um, we're two and a quarter inches long. We are one and three eighths wide. We have a depth of five eighths of an inch. So a pretty small package, almost like a keychain light. Uh, for size comparison, I brought my little micro stream. This is a AAA powered flashlight, and then I have a AA battery here and a loop to give you an idea how big that project is. All right. So let's go ahead and take this out of here. And I got my deck of cards, got my light, I'll turn it on, and we'll see what this looks like in the dark. Okay, give me one second. Turn these off. There we go. Now, lumen-wise, I'm guessing this is probably around five lumens, four lumens. Not too bad. Um, it's neat that it has a LED driver, uh, so it can actually run the battery down to 0.9 and continue to have the same brightness. Um, as the battery dim as the battery is discharged. That's really nice. So you avoid the dimming effects Pretty cool setup and I get the little tail switch <laughs> Love that it has a tail switch um, Pretty basic. There's no momentary. It's just on or off There you go. Pretty simple setup. Let's go turn the lights back on. Gives you a basic idea So pretty much like a keychain light for fun And you know you got some more experience and you built a device that you can use you can use this to, oh, you know what, I should have showed you. You could use this to turn lights back off. <laughs> this is fun. You can use this to look at your radio. Now, I know the 
Radio Wow has a uh, light on its display here, but it doesn't light up the keys. So sometimes at night you'll need to light up your keys. So now you built a light that you can use with your radio. Some people have taken and Velcroed this to the radio, across the keys so they can see it at night. It's kind of a neat idea. Uh, so there you go. Pretty neat, I'm liking that. All right. <laughs> okay, lights are back on here. Let me one second. Okay. Do some final thoughts on this kit from IC Station. All right, so I'll have links down below to this. Um, a great little kit uh, for two bucks. I can't beat it. A lot of fun. <laughs> it was really quick to put together. Um, yeah, you saw it was minimal components. I like that. It was a nice sit down, 10 minutes, and you're done. Um, that's kind of fun there. Um, that That's the best part of it. And the practice was, you know, probably like 5, 10 minutes just having fun. You know, running those little legs across there. Had a good time doing that. But, uh, and, you know, it's just fun for the future. And you can always probably change something out on it and have some fun. Do some modding. Maybe add a little different switch, different colored light maybe. Go UV light if you want. You know, you can change it up. So yeah, there it is, the IC Station Simple Do-It-Yourself Flashlight Kit uh, from them. I'll have links below. It's like two bucks. I don't know what their shipping's like. It's probably pretty cheap to ship if you buy a package of, you know, you get some lights, some other kits. Um, shouldn't be too bad. But I have links there. I am an affiliate on IC Station, which will help me get more of their kits. That's a nice thing. Um, and then we can feature more and you can figure out if you want to do them or not. And of course, I'll have the Amazon links too. If you don't want to wait the two or three weeks for the slow boat from China, <laughs> and most people don't, uh, to get their little light, um, go ahead and uh, use the Amazon links provided. Uh, I think there's a two pack down there and a two pack. They're like five bucks a piece. Yeah, you're paying three dollars more than you have to um, if you don't want to wait. Some people don't want to wait. <laughs> I don't blame them. You know, time is money to some people. So a lot of people, <laughs> most people. So there you go. IC Station, simple do-it-yourself flashlight. Give it a big like if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. Um, two, if you like these kits from IC Station, I'll be featuring more. I have an FM transmitter kit I'm going to build and a few others. Uh, more LED lights, which are fun, good practice with a million LEDs. <laughs> so hit subscribe at the bell icon to get notified of those videos. And of course, three, comment below what you think about this little do-it-yourself LED light. I mean, I like that it's a little bit better than a basic light. I mean, I remember back in the day, you just use an LED and a resistor and a battery and you were done. And maybe a switch. Um, now, you know, you're using an inductor and an IC to control the voltages. So you don't have to use two AAA batteries or two AA batteries. Because you always had to use that or nine volts. I remember that. So this is nice where you could just use one cell and it uh, will drive off that battery. So I'm digging it. <laughs> All right, guys. There you go. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.